What's up everybody, NFX here with a quick shot tutorial. In this quick shot tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to take audio or waveform data and convert it into piano roll data. Now in order for you to do this successfully and with the best results, you want to make sure that the data that you're um, trying to convert is not playing any chords or, or any other harmonic audio. Uh, basically, you want a single note to be playing at any given time. And this might be common in a simple piano melody. You can whistle or hum something, for example. That'll be acceptable. You can sing something. That would be acceptable. Um, or if you have a recorded bass line um, type of thing, normally bass lines don't play chords or multiple notes simultaneously. So those will also work. But uh, if you try to use data that has multiple notes playing, um, your results are probably not going to be as good. So with that said, let's just jump right in. Well, what I've done here is I've preloaded a string uh, pattern that you can see is wave data. This is a performance that was recorded uh, from uh, another source and is... Uh, is a string part. Let me go ahead and play that. Okay, so you can hear that it's just a a single note at any given time. It's not a layered group of strings. It's just one part. So this is going to work very good. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, pattern and then we're going to highlight where we want that note data to go. And in this case we want it to go into the keys. So we're going to basically take that string part and make it into a piano part. Let's go back into Edison and we'll go to this tool menu here and then we'll select convert to score and dump piano roll so that easy really quick and you can see in the piano roll below here let me scoot that up um, it's created the uh, the notes and if I zoom out you'll see it's it's done the entire part and then I can play this and you'll hear that same string part played in a piano now it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate because the string part may have been recorded with reverb or a slight delay or some other little things that are different about it but it will be close enough that you'll be able to determine the key that it was played in you might have to tweak a note here and there just to get the timing correct or something. You're going to see when I hit play, it's very close. So there you go. That's how you convert wave data into piano roll data. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can find some creative ways of using this to your advantage. Before I leave, of course, I want to tell you guys about warbeats.com. We have a lot of free resources there. Um, I want to stress one thing that uh, is very important to us at Warbeats, and that is that we accept everybody and anybody who wants to come through there. Uh, we don't discriminate if you don't have any money. As a matter of fact, we don't care if you don't have any money. We have a lot of stuff for you there. We have free downloads, free FL remakes, free tutorials. We have free forums, free chat. Our chat room now has audio and video so that you can, um, you know, you can interact uh, with your webcams if that's what you'd like to do. Um, and we have, a, you know, an excellent uh, community there. We have Beat Feedback System, which is free. So I urge all of you to come on through. 
and we welcome you with open arms there. Uh, please visit the site, and if we don't have anything for you there, that's fine. We we're not gonna we're not gonna hate you for that. We believe that uh, any information you can get, regardless of the source, is if it's useful to you, it's valuable information. And our only goal really is to just bring you information. Um, we're not caught up in playing any any games or trying to front that you know we're something that we're not. We're just there to uh, to have a little family and a little community and a little clubhouse that you can go hang out at and uh, and interact. So hope to see you guys there. This is NFX saying I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.